Hey YouTube, what we're going to talk about today is transplanting squash. Yeah, but I've already pre-dug two holes. I'm going to take them from a, uh, a bucket that I started with six of them in there, I don't know, probably two weeks ago. They, they've been up for about five days to a week. I don't wait till they get real big. I just, as soon as they're big enough, you know, yay tall or so, I, I go ahead and take it out with a big chunk of soil. So I'll show you how to do that. I like to bury it like a half inch or so above the current level just to let it have a little bit of runoff. I don't have mounds and all that. I, I've got limited space back here. So I try to maximize every bit of space I can. You know, you're supposed to keep a foot and a half, two foot between the plants. I don't have that luxury, so I give it about a foot, foot and a half. I'm gonna feed them well with nutrition and all that. I'm just real careful when I get in and out. Something else I found real handy is a, a auger attachment for a drill. They sell these guys at Lowe's. Um, it's about an inch and a quarter in diameter, about 18 inches long, and you can use it to aerate the soil around trees, plants. Um, I'm gonna use it today for putting blood meal in. I know I'm, I'm nitrogen deficient right now, so every plant you see, I've had to add nitrogen. You can use a spoon or a small shovel and dig two inches alongside a plant to fertilize it, but this is just a lot easier for me. I'm going to put about a teaspoon in there. I don't want to burn the plants, but I want them to be able to have some access to nitrogen. Cover it back up. Otherwise, you have animals digging in here, so we've covered up pretty well. That's it for that one. I don't put the mulch too thick. I don't know, probably half inch or so. Uh, one, it helps with weed prevention, keep, but mainly keep the moisture in and uh, give it some organic stimulation. I'm going to put this fabric mesh on next, and that will help with the weed prevention and also with maintaining the moisture levels and all that. There's a lot of people that bury these fabric mesh items, cut holes in them, and then mulch on top. I don't like doing that because at the end of the day, you're still gonna, once you, once you put an inch or two of mulch on top of these guys, you're still gonna have weeds coming up. So I like to just use it for now for this crop. And, I, and this stuff's fairly inexpensive. I'll take it and throw it away next season or maybe use it one more time and uh, do it that way. So now I'm gonna just water it in. Not a ton of water because the soil was pretty wet when I put it in, but I want to do enough just to make sure that the soil is wet enough and that'll be it. We're done. Thank you.